Well, if you can believe it, scenes like this one on your screen will be returning to Western Washington in a matter of months after gatherings of basically any kind last summer were banned. As Washington moves to phase three of the governor's reopening plan, there's word of some new job opportunities, too. And just today, local water park Wild Waves announcing it is looking to fill 600 jobs. Q13 Steve Kiggins reveals what customers should expect if health guidelines allow the water park to reopen come June. Today's gloomy, rainy weather can't last the entire summer. Some restaurants have been able to hang on thanks to outdoor seating. Other places weren't so lucky. Shoppers at Browns Point Town Center in Tacoma know the pandemic's impact. State of the economy is uh, bad. COVID-19 restrictions even changed how we could relax, forcing even the smallest public splash parks to close last summer. Wild Waves theme and water park also shut down, but if all goes well and health officials approve, the park could reopen for the first time since 2019 this June. You think they'll be able to open in June? Why not? Yeah, they should be able to. Next week, the park begins interviews to fill 600 jobs, and there's a plan to keep families safe during a pandemic, like limiting the number of guests and wellness checks for employees and customers who also must follow social distancing and hygiene guidelines, plus an array of cleaning protocols, and everyone over two years old will have to wear a mask unless you're enjoying a water attraction but some worry that a June 18 reopening is too soon. And I think that's a, a bit of Russian roulette, right? There's a whole lot of unknowns, right? And I, I would say the same for Disneyland or, or for the water park. Wild Waves says it will follow CDC and OSHA guidelines and will need local and state approval to reopen their doors. Plus, hundreds of jobs will start at $13.75 an hour. But it's the unforeseen and what we know could go wrong that makes some worry 2021 summer could look like a repeat of 2020s if a virus can outsmart our best of intentions. And this is the, the land of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that, speaking of antithetical, is absolutely antithetical in many respects to what one has to do in a pandemic. Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.